haven't even made my coffee yet. It's bright and early in the morning. I don't know. It's about 5.30 or so. Papa wanted to go out, so Papa gets to go out because, believe me, if he starts whining, you need to let him out because he will take a dump right on your floor. So <laughs> in a few minutes, I'm going to go make some coffee, and um, I've got so many things I want to get done today. I don't know what I'm going to do first. Um, I think one thing I do want to do, get that big white tub kind of prepared to start planting in. I don't have enough soil to put in it. But I've got plenty of dead rotting wood and plenty of leaves, so at least I'm going to get that started. I may make a trip into Tartar Supply, I'm not sure. But it's going to be a glorious day. I can feel it. So far, I got another eggzilla. Yeah, it's early, so the girls are still laying. Let's see, who do we got out here? We got these two. Um, we got Roxy. We got Coco. So that means a Leghorn and Miss Pris. She's in there. She sits on those eggs forever. It takes her forever to lay an egg. Oh my gosh. Let's see if these are one of the ones that got pecked really bad. I saw her this morning. Nope, that's not the one. Um, she must be inside laying an egg. Um, but she's doing much better. What's next? I think I need to get that big old planter ready for planting. Look who showed up today. Mr. Lucas came over in his tractor. And look at what he did. He's been... I did some of it, right? Just did a little bit of it. Oh! We got them all put up. Well, all the posts that I have so far. Okay? I've got 12 posts. And I'm going to incorporate part of this fence into the dog yard. I'm going to reinforce this part with more chicken wire and whatnot. Because the dogs can chew right through that. Probably chew through chicken wire, but... Uh, so, they've got all that area over there. They've got all this area over here. This is going to make a small uh, gate. Going to put a gate right here. Don't know what kind. But it goes all the way over here. We put in all of these posts. Oh my goodness. And it goes all the way to here and here. Now, I was thinking of getting enough posts and wire to totally enclose the tiny house. I don't know if I'm going to do that. But, uh, yeah, remember that, you guys? Yeah, I got to get rid of all this cardboard. And I think I'm going to build a brick pathway over here. So, what do you think of my uh, steak pounding skills, Mr. Lucas? Huh? What do you think of my steak pounding skills? Oh, this? Putting them up? Yeah. Uh, I did okay, right? She, she did fine. She did fine. Yeah. I did. She wasn't maybe off a half inch or so. Oh, or a half foot. Or a foot. <laughs> Before Mr. Lucas came over, I was working on this garden bed. That's some lovely rotted wood. I put four holes in the bottom of this. Kind of like one there, one there. And uh, so next is going to be leaves and soil. Blah, 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 but I'm tired, so I'm going to have a Budweiser break with Mr. Lucas. Okay, you guys, it is, I don't know, about 4 p.m. Miss Press has been sitting on her nest all day. I've been over at Mr. Lucas, relaxing for a little bit, so I'm going to go check the nest and see if she's still on it. She's still on the nest. I think this hen has gone broody. She doesn't look like she's in any distress. She's not panting. She looks alert. I think I need to get the other nesting boxes more comfortable because I think this hen is going to be sitting on these eggs. Look at you guys. I got blisters on my pinky. I don't have them anywhere else. I got them on the other hand too. Look at that. <laughs> yes, I'm a hard-working homesteader. I even had my gloves on, but... It just took a long time to do this, and Mr. Lucas, I have to tell you, that dude is strong. He is strong, and we got all these put in, so now I get to start planning the actual fencing. I do need to get over here and basically cover all of this area around the back of the tiny house and around and up into where the dog yard ends 
with chicken wire so that the dogs, if they, they like to go underneath of there to stay cool, they can get up underneath the tiny house, but they won't be able to get out. So I'm going to need to figure out how I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, it shouldn't be too hard, right? I think I can do it. And since I'm not going to use this as a trellis, I'm just going to use bamboo, I had considered turning this into a gate. I don't know. Or maybe I could put it up against there and secure it somehow, maybe, for at least part of the area. Um, and this thing over here, remember, I was going to make something with it. Well, I need to get some more screws in it to stabilize it, but I think once it's stabilized, I can cover that with chicken wire and make that a small gate as well. But um, the, the gate right here is going to be wider, so I'm going to have to build a different kind of gate for here. Um, I know it's best to have wooden posts so that you can nail hinges into it somehow or the other, but I don't have any wooden posts right now. So I'm going to just have to figure something else out, just put the gate, secure it to these two posts somehow or the other. I'll figure it out. It is 5 p.m. and Fancy Pants is still sitting on the nest. I went and hacked some weeds off of my neighbor's property and um, kind of prepared a couple different nesting boxes. I got the one egg crate, uh, I don't know, egg crate, whatever crate, uh, and I lined some of that with it because they seem to kind of like that. And then I got the brooder box in the back, you know, the little tiny chicken coop that's back there. I put some back in there too and opened up the doors so maybe, maybe if they want to lay eggs somewhere else and fancy pants doesn't want them in her nest they have other options so um but she won't let me check underneath of her for eggs I try to reach my hand down in there and kind of like feel for eggs and she packed me she's like uh-uh I ain't having that so please pray that this hen is going broody so that I can go through this experience. I'm really excited. I was just over there talking to Mr. Lucas and we were just talking back and forth about it. And I'm like, I mean, I was already excited because of the fence post that I've got put up. But then when I came back and I noticed that not all the hens were out free ranging, I went and looked in the, in the van coop and she's in there. She's still in the nesting box and she's all fluffed out and just kind of sitting on them eggs. I'm, I mean, I assume there's eggs in there. So, I guess maybe tomorrow if the hens lay eggs elsewhere. Um, today they were all jumping in the box with her. She was in the box from like 8 a.m. this morning when I went and let the chickens out to now. And each of the hens just went into the nesting box and laid their eggs and then left. I mean, I assume they were laying eggs, but so I don't know. I'm excited, you guys. If I can get this hen to sit on these eggs, is awesome. You'll notice that I said I called her Fancy Pants. Well, now she has officially two names and they can be used interchangeably or together or whatever. So she is now Miss Pris Fancy Pants. <laughs> I, I can't decide which one to call her, so I'm just going to call her either or both. Anyway, she's still sitting in there and um, it's starting to get late. So uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm excited about this, but I'm also worried because what if she spends all that time sitting on them and then she up and just forgets about them and abandons them. But she's a young hen. They're all young hens, so they'll learn. So we, uh, Mr. Lucas and I had talked, and if the hens lay other eggs in other boxes, I think for the next day, like tomorrow, I'm going <laughs> to, I need to turn this inverter off. It's going to be dark soon. Anyhow, um, I'll take those eggs maybe and put them underneath of her, see if she'll let me to just see if we can get her to hatch a few more eggs. I don't know how tomorrow's going to go because if she's not getting out of that nesting box, hopefully the other hens won't jump in there and try to disturb her. I don't know. She's pretty chill. I mean, they, they were doing that before where, <laughs> yes, Romeo, um, where she was in there and they'd go hop in and lay their eggs and leave. So, but they have other options now. Uh, if they want to lay eggs somewhere else, they can do it. And they've laid in those other boxes before, so I don't know why they can't do it again. It just seems like all the hens want to be in one box. <sighs> Anyhow, um, you know what? I think that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.